and now I win. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh god. Every single game that's in this fighting collection has online. Every single game has lobbies. Every single game has rollback netcode and every single game has training mode. It wasn't like a, a very limited few games that were in the 30th anniversary collection that actually had online and had training mode. I wanted to fire up training mode in Street Fighter Alpha and I was horribly reminded when we fired up 30th anniversary that it does not exist. I was like, what? I thought every game had training mode and it doesn't. There, there were only a handful of games that actually had training mode. So the fact that every single game in this collection, the fact that like there's versions of Dark Soccer's games in here that have never technically had training mode because I don't think, I think there's one version of Dark Soccer's, I think it's one of the Vampire Saviors to something, never actually came out on consoles. One of them did. Saturn has it. Saturn, Saturn has a, a version of Dark Stalkers 2, but there was a very limited selection of these games that actually had proper training mode. Puzzle Fighter had training mode? I think it did. I think Puzzle Fighter had training mode back in the day. Let me just fucking fire this up. I just want to see it. It's got its own music. A thing to note, the lead producer for this game, the person that's like the helm of this game, is also the same lead producer that's working on Street Fighter VI. It's Matsumoto. Seems to be an, a, a pretty decent amount of love, care, and attention thrown into this port of all these games. My son? Don't talk, we don't talk about that. We don't talk about how I'm somebody's American father. Are they commenting of how much taller I am? They're calling you huge. I had a funny feeling. They said me and the dev looked like father and son. <laughs> we don't talk about that. I do not have any Japanese children, despite what the official Capcom TV broadcast says. So, uh, dang, the input delay is put at four at the start. Damn, boy. Oh, what's the official art for the game? Yes. Yes, give me. Jeez, I didn't even see Donovan over here on the left. Damn, Blodia over here. Chad, if you ever wondered where I got the name Dude Brodia from, it's this robot right here. This is a robot from Cyberbot slash Tech Romancer. This is Jin's robot. Yeah, this, this, oh God. So Tamio did this. This style is badass. I like it that Dan and Devilot are playing Puzzle Fighter. Very cute. There's also, uh, oh God, what's her name? Jesus, the girl that Don- I always forget her name. The girl that Donovan's protecting. Uh, Chad, help me. Annie, it's not Annie. Anita. Thank you. Anita. Guile and Bison over there. Damn, that Ryu looks great. Holy moly. Look at this honorary Darkstalkers art. Oh, Jesus. Newly made for this version of the game, right? There was brand new Darkstalkers art commissioned and created for this game. Official, right? Like, we're not talking <clears throat> some fan art stuff. No, Capcom went out and started paying people, hey, we need Darkstalkers art, and people showed up. Specifically Vampire Savior, right? Just just to be sure. This is Vampire Savior characters. Wow. Okay, in the same way, Capcom went out and commissioned artists with the intention, we need people to do Red Earth art, <laughs> right? Like in the same way that Red Earth has shirts, Capcom is selling Red Earth shirts as of right now. They sent out the feelers into the into the general public space that, hey, we need Red Earth artists, get on it. <laughs> people are like, okay, shit. What the heck are they all? They're on Blodia in the background. That's awesome. There's Devilot and her assholes. Is that Kenji? It is, yeah. Sick. Yeah, Dan is for some reason Puzzle Fighter Dan. Very cute. And weirdly enough, I don't think a lot of this Darkstalkers artwork has been shown off in an official game. I think some of it was obviously in the Darkstalkers Resurrection collection. But I think like this game has never been put on like anything practically. Most of this is probably exclusive to this game. Yeah, there's very little for this stuff. This game actually came out on Saturn. I weirdly have it. And then the big one, right? This is obviously the big one. This game's on PS4, yeah. V-Hunt 2 isn't on Saturn, though? What do I have? 
What do I have then? No, no. Vsav on Saturn actually had Donovan and the gang, but it's not V Hun 2. Oh, fucking weird. Home port of the Saturn just had all the characters. How goofy is that? It wasn't the arcade version then? How goofy is that? I had no idea. At, at some point, I was like legit confused where I'm like, this isn't Dark Soccer's 3. Like, what the hell? Because I didn't like follow them super closely. And I remember firing that up the old video games. I'm like, what, what are we playing? Donovan's not in this game, and he was just playable. I'm like, what the hell's going on? This is that Bangus era, right? Where the MVC2 style art. Wow, storyboards for the intro. Oh, this... This... is fucking cool. Wow. The arcade intro storyboard. Look at Lord Raptor. And look at Rikuo in the bottom left. <laughs> that artwork, man. <laughs> Look at Riku. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Boletta jumping off screen with her crazy machine gun. Oh, this is them figuring out how the uh, interface was going to look, right? How how does the everything look when it comes together? What is the visual style of the interface? How does how does the entire like game present itself? You know, the versus screen weird like emblem orb thing. Super cool. Oh God, in the, wow, this is, okay, this is some shit that I don't know if many people have seen before. Designing a character select screen. Oh, and how they have to split up all the objects, all the sprites for each element, where things are gonna be split up at between the character art, the, uh, the interface, the objects that move, the characters themselves, the palette of characters in this roster select, and then all the other stuff in the front between like UI elements and stuff like that how they were going to resource manage it because obviously they didn't have a lot of RAM to work with. Oh, this is amazing. This is, this is amazing. This is stuff that you do not usually see in, in art books, right? This is stuff that you usually do not get. This is a bit more in line. The stuff that they had to sprite out. Feet, and here's, here's the nightmare fuel stage, chat. Fetus of God. Somebody loved Akira. The things that made me the most excited about this is when Capcom was showing, there was a, a few producers at Capcom that were releasing a bunch of artwork like, like this, right? And people had never seen it before. So they were just posting it on Twitter casually, just going through files and finding stuff. Uh, that eventually, after about a year of doing that, it was getting so much traction. Yeah, it was Nakayama, who's the literal director of Street Fighter VI. It got so much traction that they eventually created a Capcom art official Twitter. So, and it's Japanese only, but on that official Twitter, they still release stuff like every single week of how all the crazy classic Capcom art that had just been sitting in folders forever. And now they're actually scanning it and showing it off. It's pretty fucking awesome. There's an absolute disgusting animation in this grab where you see uh, her, her abdomen, her crazy bee abdomen, like empty out and squish and push like larva into you. And then the larva like fucking comes out of you or some shit. It's, it's horrifying. It's actually fucking terrifying looking. Some face hugger energy, yes. But you know, it's Darkstalkers, so she's gross and a bug, but she's sexy, right? And that's, that's Darkstalkers. They're gross and crazy, but they're sexy. Wow, I don't even know if this is official art. Wow, Bikini Morgan, wow. Super sick, man. Jesus, that just kept going. I don't really realize how long I was here. So, uh, Options to train. Vampire savior, the Lord of Vampire. Epic trailer guys doing the voice. Ah! No. No, 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 definitely not. There is a absolute metric ton of scan line feature. There we go. None. Thank you. Ah, there we go. There's my pixels. Oh, there it is. And then she dies and then... Right? You don't see that very often. <laughs> you don't You don't see it very often. Can you rate the Super's animations? Yes, I plan to rate every single frame of every animation. Um, it'll be the stream for the next six years. We could fire up this version of Street Fighter 2, which is actually friggin' awesome. This is the equivalent of Ultra Street Fighter 4. For anybody that isn't, that wasn't around when this came out, this came out around the 15th anniversary of Street Fighter 2. Uh, I'm sorry, of Street Fighter in general. They released a different version of 2 Turbo. 
that allowed you to play every version of every Street Fighter 2 character with each other. So you can play World Warrior Ryu versus Super Turbo Ryu if you wanted, which is crazy. It was also released on the previous collection that had Third Strike back in the 15th anniversary collection. So this was this was on PS2 and Xbox original when it came out and was pretty much the the one version of the game that a lot of people used as as resource to play in tournaments and stuff like that. But the cool part is that it also got an arcade release. This was actually in the arcades when it came out. My local arcade, Family Fun, did have this and yeah, people played it. So you can pick which version of the character. Go down to normal and look, the character portrait art changes, right? Let me move my face out of here. You get Owen Wilson Ken. I obviously can't move the character select over anymore because beyond that is super characters and characters that weren't in SF2 original. So I, I'm just stuck, right? You're just stuck over here with the OG version. Let's pick OG Guile. And this is kind of busted because Guile's moving quicker and this is this is way too fast, right? This is this is way too fast. Holy shit. Jesus, Chun Li! Ah, uh, this is too fast. Hold on a second. So let's pick a uh, Turbo Ryu, which is kind of a good version of Ryu. No supers or anything, but you can do this. Oh God. Oh God. Yeah, I got I got the weird jumping Tatsu. God, God, I'm on a PS5 controller, Cammy, please. So he's got jumping Tatsu cancels. He can essentially cancel almost any of his jumping attacks if Kami isn't going to be a total asshole about it. Oh, this, I hate this AI so much. Very nice. Oh, very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Does it let me choose a different one after this? Even if I could continue. Did the, did the arcade? It does, so... Complete restart, we can pick Super Turbo. Oh, and Akuma is easy selectable. Oh, I don't have to do a code for Akuma? That I think that was a 15th anniversary thing, right? Oh! Oh, God. So it doesn't matter. Ah! <laughs> yeah, the damage is scary. Welcome, welcome to ST. Good. I just want to do a jumping Tatsu. Let's just see if I have it. I don't, I do have it. God, good luck doing a DP on this damn controller. Very good computer. Very smart. Very smart. This is the bug day I, well, I fucking noticed. Where's the actual dip switch settings? And this doesn't matter. This, this, this might not matter. Hang on a second. What we would do is this. Just leave it on four. Because this is not ST, right? This game is not Super Turbo. Super X. Oh, we are in the Japanese version. Super Street Fighter 2 X is what it was called. It wasn't called Super Turbo in Japan. Yeah, we switched to the Japanese version and uh, it seems to have fixed the AI. Beilong and his fast ass walk speed. He'll just, he'll just walk backwards. Wow. Jump at me, please, so I can do my combo. Damn it. Oh, stop it. Leave me alone. Oh. Oh. It seems to be working great. I mean, I it will have to wait for people to really... Uh, feel out this stuff. I feel like the only fighting game that's like one of the classics ones that I can really be like, okay, this feels off, uh, is 3S. And I, I definitely felt, I definitely felt the input delay heavy when I played the PS4 version pre-release of, uh, of the 30th anniversary collection, which had Third Strike. I was like, this feels weird, man. <laughs> Shit, it feels like we're playing online, online, online here. Here's a game that I can actually play with controller. Online play, ranked match, and ch check this out. I can do this. I can technically search every single game. I can search every single game I can choose, whether it's cross region, any version of the game, English version, Japanese version, whatever, right? So at any point, it'll rank you in a match and then you just get a game of whichever one you want. So what's a crazy one? Gen Fighter 2 Minimix? This game's nuts. Yeah, this game's called Pocket Fighter in Japan. 
Super Gem Fighter Mini Mix in the US. Also called Pocket Fighter on PlayStation, technically. I think Felicia turns into Mega Man. Give me my big moves. Where, where are they? Where's the, where's the button on this controller? There's Mega Man. Wow. Ah! Kicking my ass! Where's the, uh, the big combo? You would think this game's, like, really combo heavy, but it's not. It's like button, button, that's it. There we go, ow. Don't ring me out yet, I'm not done shopping. You mother Pfeiffer. Damn, hold on a second, hold on a second. It's a crazy ass game. Game is charming. It takes some getting used to if you want to, like, play it, play it. It takes some getting used to because the characters have very stumpy normals, dude. Super stumpy normals. You gotta grab the gems to level up your specials. Ryu's got crazy-ass, like, reverse donkey kick. Ow. Wow, Shinshore Yukin is bonkers in this game. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Nah. Ah, I have the Blanca thing. Good Lord, were you? Oh God. Oh jeez. Oh God. How the hell is Cyberbots even played? Right? How the hell is Cyberbots even played? Who's the best character in this game, chat? Jin? Does anybody know how to actually play Cyberbots? I like it how the timer is not going down. That's a nice modification that they made to the game. Mecha Akuma. I don't know if he's in this version of the game. I think Mecha Akuma might be a PlayStation, um, a console exclusive. Pilots actually don't matter. Oh God, so just the mechs matter? Team Blodia. All right, so what are the buttons in this shit? Uh, there's dash right there. Let's actually see if I can, hold on a second, controller settings. Um, attack one, attack two, weapon, boost? Oh, that's fucked up. Oh, this is the worst. Um, unfor I, here's, here's my biggest issue with the game so far. Is this. Absolute, ridiculous, archaic, like insanely, you can customize the buttons, I get it, right? That, that is cool. That there's proper, like, you can just mash one thing here and then go there. That is cool, but still like, I would rather have a list of all the moves to do and then you could press the button in a coordination, in coordination, right? Jeez. So is it like a motion game? Yeah, it looks like it. There are two motions. The game's basically an anime fighter. Okay, so just fireball? Is there DP? There is DP. Wow, badass. Is that a throw? Seems to be a command throw. I've never learned how to play these games. The hell is that? Press both attacks to expel meter. Okay. Why would I want to do that? It's a burst? Oh, it's like a DP. Can't cancel into super, God! Damn. The building taking a huge chunk out of it. This was, yeah, this game, I remember having a lot of fun with Akuma on this big ass stage. No, Akuma wasn't the pilot. No, Akuma was a mech. He absolutely was a mech. I ejected my power. Oh God. Ouch. Jeez, that has so much recovery time. They're driving over this dude. Jesus Christ. Target destroyed. This is so sick. So Capcom-y. Look at this guy. This dude looks like he came out of like King Arthur and the Knights of Justice. Look how badass this character design is over here. Holy shit. It's Mecha Arthur is what it is. 
Driving. I'm driving. Jesus Christ. Wow. Oh, and it stuns the opponent. Okay. Yeah, get him. Yeah, get him. Yeah, the mecha designs in this game are really weird. They're not exactly cool. I mean, they don't have, like, that Gundam coolness to them. This dude bleeding out of his eyes. Wow, what the hell was that? Crazy shit. Holy moly. Big shit. Zap! Oh my god. Wow! God damn, that explosion was cool looking. And they're safe, right? They all they all hit out of their like escape pods and shit. It's a weird feeling game, you know? I have to sit down and actually figure out how to play it. Let me try this really fast. For puzzle maniacs. So if you wanna win, you pick where is he? Dan. Secret Dan. But if you really and Devilot, wow. If you really wanna win, you pick fucking Shenko. Yeah, if you wanna meme it up, you pick Dan. So here's the strategy chat. I don't know if you picked up on it. It's a very complicated strategy. Specifically, not comboing. Go for Baroque. And you leave it in God's hands, right? You essentially, just put this in God's hands. See, you see an opportunity, you take it. Just using my brain here, okay? Very exclusive strategy. Somehow it's working. It's exclusive strategy. And she's dead. Survived? She barely survived. Okay, I'm making decisions. That's not good, right? Okay. Can't be any decision making, right? You just gotta go, go, go. Put it in God's hands. Yep. There, there, there goes God. Doing his thing. Come on, Ryu, you son of a bitch. I'm going too slow. Yeah, Ryu, yeah. You got that, huh? Got it? Are you? Oh, he got it. My wife would kill me right now. Uh-oh. That's away from that side. Okay, Ryu's, Ryu's putting up a fight. He might have figured out my strategy. Five turns? Oh my god. He might be dead! No! My strategy! No! Ryu, you stupid bitch! I shouldn't have made decisions. What was I doing? Yeah. Stick to the strat. The idea is that you need to get the diamonds as soon as possible. And good stuff starts happening. You start getting rewarded. So the only problem with Ken is that he drops an entire layer of reds, right? So with Ken, you can't just do small, small things. You have to do big things because it's it's a red layer at the start and then different stuff after, right? So you have to, you have to do different shit. You have to build combos and stuff like that with Ken, funny enough. Okay, no brain, no brain power, no brain power. Rely on the diamonds, pray and watch stuff happen. In fact, do not try to actively avoid things is what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to get myself killed is what I'm gonna try to do. Okay, I wasted a diamond because I'm a huge dumbass. Drop this right here. Yeah. Didn't get any combos yet. Not not good. The no brain power method. Getting kind of scary. See, the only the only line that will kill you is that one in the middle where the blocks drop down from. You can go above on any other one. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Trust the process, right? Trust the process. I was thinking too much. Chenko's got the most random pattern of the whole game. Really trusting the process in this one. Oh my god. Let it all work out. Let it all work out. It's gonna be fine. Okay, very dangerous. I got I got some got some crowding going on here. Believe? 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 Oh yeah! Believe. I steal games from JJ every once in a while doing this, and I feel terrible. But she, you know what? I don't feel terrible because she told me about this strategy. Do you think you could, Tiff? Do you think you could beat this? Do you think? Are you ready? 
I'll have to, I'll have to evolve. There we go. Play a selecto. All right. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go super ham at the start, right? Just to establish how ham I'm going to go. Okay. Could not sync with opponent exiting game. Uh oh, what happened? I tried too hard. Oh, she's gone. Uh, Tiff? Three hours later. Tiff, you want to try that one more time? Okay, let's try, let's try to get a couple matches in. All right. Super ham. Extra ham. Uh, okay. Chun's got reds on the left. Here we go. All right, here we go. Stick to the strategy. Stick to it. Stick to the strat. I'm gonna get you. All right, I'm not going fast enough. I'm not going fast enough. I'm not going fast enough. Look at all that blue stuff over there, man. Chun, Chun Li literally fed me all that. There's a combo right here. Okay. All right. Got some stuff to work with. Got some gaps in here. Getting close. Oh my god. Okay. Save my ass. No. No. Okay. I got. I got Molly walloped. All right. All right. First to three. Here we go. This the strat did not work. A few moments later. Ah, oh, God! Okay, okay, okay. All right, 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 all right. Come on, all right, right. Let's go. Let's bring it back. And you know what? I'll take Donovan. Tagging the wipe. I will. I'm building around the wrong spots. Whole body. Oh God! It all came, it all came crumbling down. Oh God! It was close. Roll it up. Here we go. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna build our way out of here. No! What the F? What the holy F? Oh my god, I got locked out. I got super locked out. I'm ready to play more. I'm, I'm definitely ready to play more. Give me Ken! Okay. Taking too long to think. Way too long to think. Okay, we're coming back. Okay. Oh no, oh no, did I just screw up? I did. Really bad. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm, miss I'm missing a bunch of mixed combos and setups. Don't be fooled that I actually know how to play this game. No, that's right, it blows up. Crap. Wow, that has caused a problem. A rift. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Right, right, This game looks like a dopamine farm. It definitely is. I'm going to stick with Kenberly. Oh yeah! Oh yes! Later. How are you still alive? The music desynced. Or something. I'm very distracted now. Lost the music completely. What? Did the same thing happen to you, Tiff? What the fuck? Your music died too? What the fuck? I don't know if I, I don't know if I like any of this at all. This is so... I need music. There we go. The strategy. So what the hell? Come on. And now it came back. Uh, Jesus, I didn't even see what the hell Morgan was. Reds in the middle, yellows around it. Oh, that's blues over there. Blues over there. Yellow's right here. 
Okay. Okay. It's fine. We're gonna come crashing down. Big red's coming. Counter it a little bit. Okay. Survive. Got to the diamond. Crush blue. Go for red. Trying to figure out strategy. Okay. There we go. If I hear something crashing down, I gotta do something about it, you know? That's like the gimmick. Go for the strategy really fast. Hold on a second. Let's change it up. Build this big ass thing down here. Okay, it's got no blue shit on it. That's not good. That's big. That's, that's, that's death. Nice! The snowball is crazy. And, that, and if that three hit comboed, I mean, I know some general stuff. I've watched my wife play enough of this game. When, once you get like a falling stack like that, it... Oh yeah. But yeah, so Tiff, on the next one, we both picked Dan. Here we go. Chat, get ready. Get ready. I don't know how this plays out. This is now completely RNG based. Who's biting first? Okay, you bit first. Okay. A lot. Go in God's place. Here we go. The combo is the thing that eventually gets you the kill, right? Keep it clear. Ah, shit! I was one more turn. One damn turn. I almost had it. Really gonna hurt. Oh, no! God! I think I know how to do this one, though. I think I have a strategy. I really don't know. Because it can all just fucking fall apart. I win. No? Not yet. It, I didn't hit the timer fast enough. Does she keep me alive? And now I win. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh god. It's crazy shit. Well, I survived this though. I can try to counter it. Here's a combo. No, nope, didn't make it. Didn't make it. No, that's a big red chunk, boy. All right, here we go. Dan versus Dan finale. That just, yeah. She got unlucky. The drop lane got, got stuffed. That hurts. I might have won. Yep. I might have been it. Survived. All right, just have to survive. Just gotta survive. All right, Tiff, good game. I'm calling your lawyer. All right, let's call it that. No rematch. This stupid game is so much fun. The fighting collection might be worth it alone for the puzzle game.